Reverend Diplomat and former Member of Parliament, Alaji Dauda Suleiman Kamara's life and legacy was celebrated by government officials as they signed the Book of Condolence. Friends, family and dignitaries paid their respects and shared heartfelt tributes. Representatives from various political parties and other mourners from across the country were in attendance. Among them was Zainab Kamara, the second daughter of the late man, who fondly remembered the father as a loving and supportive figure. She recounted touching stories from his life, highlighting his gentle outward behavior, commitment to education, and diplomatic achievements. I wouldn't call him a disciplinarian. He negotiated with you. He would sit and speak and uh, try to appeal to your rational mind as to why you were doing what you did or why you didn't do what you, did, you didn't do, okay? He's never struck us. He was a friend. Um, uh, that for me, I always greeted him with, you know, a high five. Following the tributes, government representatives, including the deputy mayor of Freetown Municipality, led leads in honor of Ambassador Kamara's contribution to the city and the nation. To do honor to this man, it behoves us all to emulate his talent and humane qualities. They are his legacy to us all in this generation, when leadership tends to be a game of self-serving rather than service to others. Our epitaph, therefore, to Ambassador Alaji Dauda Sulaiman Kamara will, lead, will read, Here lies his head on the lap of earth, a youth of fortune and fame renowned. As the nation bids farewell to Ambassador Alaji Dauda Sulaiman Kamara, his spoken legacy of political tolerance, diplomatic excellence, and dedication to public service will continue to inspire generations to come. The funeral prayer will be held at the Tonko Limba Mosque in Medina, followed by intimate at Zimbabwe Cemetery in Tonko Limba Chiefdom, Cambia District. SLBC News, SSACO reporting. <laughs>